Yes, sir, would you, would you say? Indeed, I am the Mississippi King after all. What? Wait, the things are... Oh, crap, uh, this is the Mississippi King. Welcome in, y'all. Back to more Let's Play Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, where we did some things in, like to the bottom of the well and got the lines of truth or whatever. And in this episode, we are going to start on the long quest of getting a really good item that I probably should have gotten several videos ago, but <laughs> nevertheless, better late than never. I mean, at least I'm not ignoring it. And uh, we're, we're actually going to make some decent progress here. The item in question is not the pocket egg, although it will in fact lead to that item. But no, what we want to do is to just head into one of... We want to head into one of them buildings, okay? Well, what we're going to do is to actually go to something... No, what am I doing? This is not how you're supposed to... An egg can't wake someone up, so it's a lot of getting mixed up already. That is not a good sign for things to come. But, <laughs> hello, Mississippi Dukes. I mean, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to leave Kakariko Village and wait around a bit off-screen. And I'm back. So now let's actually head into that building. You see, now it's actually hatched into the, the thing, and we're going to actually wake uh, the guy up with it. This is important because, you know, we need to wake him up in order to progress. In order to progress in the item quest, that is. But yeah, you can talk to him when you wake him up, and as for that, well, we're, we're basically done here in Kakariko Village for the moment. We will have to return here later for, like, some things involving the potion shop and whatnot. But yeah, nothing much here. That's all. And I'm back, and this time I'm actually going to, to get to, to, to try and wake this guy up. In the last word, see if that's the place where Skull Kid works, and like, why, why isn't this working? It, it should be working. I, I'm, I'm using the big cooker. Oh dear, this is, I'm on my first screw up. Uh, this, this is not how I intended for this to go. Uh, okay, this is kind of embarrassing. Uh, I'm screwing this up. This is not going over so well, uh, I, I, I think I'm missing something. Well, you know what, I'll meet you back here when I figure things out. Okay, I can't believe I overlooked this, but apparently you're actually supposed to show the pocket cuckoo to, um, th th this far, far, I forget her name, but... Yeah, sh show it to her, and she'll give you a, a special a cuckoo called Kojiro. Or something like that, and he's actually blue. So that's, that's interesting, but oh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take him and then use the knock turn of shadow, no, the minuet of forest to get to the forest temple, and I will meet you back where the guy was. And we're here where the guy was. And what you want to do is to just show it to him, and what he'll do is he'll give us some mushrooms, and these things are on a time limit. So it's like you need to be quick about that and get back to Kakariko Village. So I'm not I'm not actually going to to ignore. It. I'm actually going to leave the trip in. But it's time for a speed montage because you know I need to keep things flowing smooth. Like 
you don't want to have to like sit through this thing while nothing happens and it's like it can be annoying to watch so i'm just gonna speed this crap up and i'm going to be calling a photo right now so this is definitely going to make the trip here easier now you could use something like the nocturne of shadow to get to kakariko village except there's a problem because that will immediately guarantee that your mushrooms will spoil that, you know, that can be a bit of an issue, so I would advise against warping because, like, because that's... Well, you can't warp to Chakarika Village. You have to get there on foot. And if you don't get there on foot, like... Well, not necessarily on foot. You just can't warp there. And so what you want to do is head into this here building and go across. And it's the same place we found the Kirkner that was here as a kid. So just head into this building and we've reached our destination. You can actually get this place to sell blue potions at some point later on, but yeah, you should just talk to her. What a mysterious smell. You must have something. That bomb, he had to go into the forest. Hey, give it to me now. You see that fool, give this to him. It is the strongest medicine I have ever produced. However, this potion will not work on a monster. They say there is no medicine that can cure a fool. I guess that's true. And we're back here where the guy was, but he's no longer here for some reason. Not sure what's the, what the relationship between the uh, potion maker and the, the, this guy was, but well, that, that's really all the... We don't get any explanation for that, and... You know, that that's kind of neat, and I like how this game doesn't feel the need to explain everything to you. But yeah, once we give the much the, excuse me, the medicine to that Okiri, then we get to the thing. We get the poacher's song, which I am now going to return to a guy in Gerudo Valley. Now we're actually going to be exploring Gerudo Valley a bit more thoroughly later, but for the moment all I just want to do here is to give it to the, the guy with the, who had the saw. When we do that, we can- well actually, you know what, before we do that, there are actually a few things that I want to do, because there are actually is at least one gold sculpture here, and since I'm going for all 100, I may as well pick that up. There's no reason I can't do both in the same video. But what I want to do is to actually, um... Gets the, them sculptures, and once we give the saw to the guy, he'll actually give us a broken big Goron sword. And of course, at this point, everyone's already figured it out. The item we're looking for is the big Goron sword. And it, it's the most powerful sword in the game. More powerful even than the Master Sword. And th there is, however, a bit of a drawback to it, and that's that uh, you can't use a shield with it because it, it is pretty big. It's like the. I believe we got the, the Goron's knife, and we'll, we'll want to give him this and. Uh, well, I mean, to the next, uh, our next destination after we give him the saw is, well, Death Mountain. However, I am going to be editing that trip out because, again, who wants to watch that crap? I don't, I don't. 
Of course, I'm the one who has to sit through it and, like, play through it. So it's like, be grateful, I guess? I don't know. And this guy's just talking about the, the fortress over there, the Dikaruto fortress. And we're actually not going to be bothering with that at the moment. We will be doing it uh, later in, like, a future video. Maybe not even that long from now. Maybe, like, the, in the next video or so, or, or two. And I'm back here at uh, Goron City. And what uh, I want to do is to actually get to the... The, the Goron's knife, the giant's knife. Because this presumably will do work just as well, like, it'll be just as suitable as the, the regular sword, right? It's really powerful, it looks really big, like it'll just destroy everything in sight! Like, it can just... it has a much better range, and I'm sure nothing, nothing will go wrong with this. It is just going to be completely useful there, or completely useless, actually. Of course, it's not going to be that good. It's freaking cheap. But there's a bit of a problem. You know who actually has a, a bit of an eye problem. Which, uh, that, that can be kind of an issue. You do not want to, to uh, get, get some stuff in your eyes when you're trying to forge a sword. You could end up with that cheap hunk of plastic that I just got from the other guy. But now we'll be given the prescription and it will be found in Zora's domain. So, uh, yeah, I will meet you there in Zora's domain. See ya, folks! And I'm back here at Zora's domain. Go figure. And, well, you should show it to, to uh, King Zora, and he'll actually give us something else. And this is another timed thing, so once again, I'm gonna leave the trip in. However, I am going to speed it up because, of course, yeah, lots of speed montages in this episode. I mean, I just don't want things to get irritating to watch or anything like that. Speed! Here's Steven Scrapper, because no one wants to watch me like do this in regular speed. And would you shut up, Navi? Yeah, I know what I'm supposed to be doing to progress this story. I do not need you to remind me every 10 minutes! Speed! Speed! Yeah, I know what I'm supposed to be doing to progress this story. I do not need you to remind me every 10 minutes! Speed! Speed! Yeah, I know what I'm supposed to be doing to progress this story. I do not need you to remind me every 10 minutes! 
That's annoying, but yeah, you, you just want to keep the speeding along at Zora's River, and I think you can actually... Get, well, we're heading to Lake Harley, just as a reference. We're heading to that, uh, that laboratory in the sea in Lake Harley, uh, the one where you can dive. I believe we got the hard piece for, like, diving. And when it says, quick land to I, I think I may as well, like, call a photo, because, like, there's no way I'm making it there without a, a horse. And, frankly, I'm, like, they give you just enough time with a horse, so it's like... I don't think there's any chance that I can make it, so let's go! Let's get going! And of course, this is yet another speed montage. I'm just gonna let that sink in! But still, I already got all them thingies, all them clothes. So yeah, we just hop up over this fence and it's a straight shot! This game lacks a lot of the times of thingies, but they do show up. And usually they give you plenty of time, like, look at this, it's, I even got that left! Well, I mean, I've got over 30 seconds left, which doesn't sound like that much, but... Uh, you should show it to this guy, and he'll be able to make some eye drops from it. Like, you, you just show him your the eyeball frog, and boom! So, he's uh, rather peculiar. They're so delicious, they're not for eating, though. You would- you, you can't just eat them. You should have said that in the first place. I'm a silent protagonist! I can't say that. I- I, I don't speak, so it's like, eh. Why are you blaming me for this? But, whatever, you get to the world's finest eyeball drops, and it's another time thing, so you know what that means. This means more ship long time! And of course, since I already called it part, I don't think that's necessary. Of course, this definitely helps in getting all the way to the Death Mountain. You want to speed up and hurry along as quickly as possible because this time it's actually four minutes. I'm not sure uh, it's... Like, I don't think I'll need a, that 30 that about four minutes. Like, that's probably plenty of time. But still, I think I'll at least need... Well, actually, like, that is a pretty big trip, so maybe I will need most of it. But still. <laughs> Thank goodness for editing software. This would be unwatchable without... Like, if, it, if I weren't able to speed this crap up, then, oh boy, that's what, that could be problematic. But, uh, maybe I won't need that all that time. I'm already down to nearly two minutes, but, but still, I, I don't think I'll need to use that. And since I'm going to be speeding this crap up, it will be much less than that. And I don't know if I'm riding the beanstalk. I don't know. Or, you know, I guess it does actually lead to higher. I was just being an idiot earlier. But, yeah, since we can't really duck, it's not like, why isn't it stealing fire? It's just because we're already done with the fire temple. I don't think getting through the fire temple actually helps you with the, the, the thing. I don't think it actually opens up the quests, but, uh, yeah, that, that's kind of neat. I, I only just now noticed that. But here we are, folks! And so, uh, now what you want to do is to present the eye drops mm. to him, and then we have finally completed the quest. Well, except for one thing, it will involve a bit of waiting. Because, like, he, he of course, you can't finish a single sword in a day, like, that takes a long time to make these, and actually, I have no idea how long they take, I am not a blacksmith. Or, or any kind of smith. My name isn't even Smith. But that's all for this episode. Join me next time when we do some more stuff and find out our next destination. See you all then. This is the Mississippi King signing off.